Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today, I can't believe it, but we're doing the last makeup basket of 2018, my December makeup basket. I'm excited to bring out some things that I haven't tried out in a while and some old favorites, so before we jump into my basket, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like these monthly makeup baskets, and if you have any like to, I really hope you would consider subscribing and hit that little bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. All right, so if you have watched my channel by now, you know that the very bottom drawer of this set is for my Project Pan, my finished 6 by Solstice. So let's go one drawer up and look at all my powders for the month. For my loose powder, I'm using this Cover Effects powder. It's a little sample size that I got in like a mini kit from Sephora or as a point perk. I honestly can't remember at this point, but it's a really good powder. I just don't like the price of the full size and I also don't like this container. My entire drawer now is actually covered with this powder because it keeps like getting everywhere and I actually have a little bit on my hand right now. So this is the last one that I have and I'm just trying to finish this up. For my pressed powder, I'm going back to one of my old favorites. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and this is actually the shade 001 Transparent and I actually hit a good amount of pan right here <laughs> accidentally. So. I'm going to keep using this. I'm kind of afraid to depot it now at this point since I do have pan. So I'm going to see how much of it I can finish still in this packaging. Hey guys, Monica from the future here. Just to let you know that I was able to successfully depot that Rimmel powder into this big Z palette that I have right here. I was actually able to use the flat iron that I used to use to straighten my hair, which I no longer straighten my hair anymore. So I just put it on top of the flat iron with some of the parchment paper for like literally 20 seconds and then I popped right out. I was shocked that it was that easy because I had tried other methods. I tried the candle method and nearly burnt my hand off, but I was able to depot it using that method. And then below it in the picture, I also depotted my favorite contour palette. This is the Smashbox contour palette. Uh, so I have that in the Z palette now along with the bronzer that I'm panning. So this is now going to be my go-to face palette. And I was way too proud of myself for figuring out how to depot all of this. So I just wanted to let you guys know. So let's go ahead and jump back to the makeup basket. For blush, I'm actually bringing out a blush kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills that I picked up from Marshalls for like less than $19. And this kit has so many great shades. And I think these are going to look really nice for some of the more glam looks that I want to do now that we're in the midst of the holiday season. For my highlighter this month, I'm bringing out one of the Jeffree Star Skin Frost. This is the shade Ice Cold. It's just a really nice, stark white kind of blinding highlighter that I think is going to look really pretty now that we're pretty much in winter. Where did fall go? I miss it. So that's everything for the powders. Let's jump into foundations. And if you're wondering why I don't have a contour in here, it's because I actually found something that I like a little bit better, surprisingly, and it's from a glow kit. This is the Anastasia Glow Kit, and this is the Sun Dipped one, and actually, I found that if I use this darkest shade up here on the top left, bronzed, as like a contour slash bronzer, it looks really nice. Really nice. So, since this doesn't really fit nicely into the drawer, I'm just keeping it on like my desk, but I've really been liking using that shade. And I also have a bronzer in my Finish 6 by Solstice, so I'm going to try to focus a little bit more on that one as well. The first foundation I have is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and I actually picked up the shade Porcelain. Before, I had a shade that was way too dark and way too yellow on me, and I didn't really like it, and I didn't give the formula like a good chance since the shade was so bad. But this one I can actually wear without too much mixing on its own. So I am going to test this out throughout December and see how much I like the formula. I really wanted to get back into this one because my holy grail foundation is from Too Faced. It is the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. And I really just wanted to give their other foundations more of a shot. Something I'm testing out for my upcoming full face of e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation in the shade Porcelain. It's really dark. I've never had the lightest shade of a foundation be too dark for me before, but this one is. So I am using a white mixer in order to make this match me, but so far this is really blowing my socks off. 
I haven't found a foundation from e.l.f. that I really like yet, but this one is really impressing me. So I'm going to keep testing it out so that when I do my full face, I can give you guys a full review on this foundation. The next foundation I'm bringing back out, this is a BB cream, which I think is going to be nice for my skin as it gets drier and drier. This is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream in shades 21 and 27. 27 has my good undertones, but it's way too dark. 21 is lighter, but it's got like the weirdest like gray undertones to it, so it kind of makes me look dead. I really think the best way to go about using this is just to use shade 27 with a white mixer but since I have both of them I'm gonna mix them together so I can get some use out of shade 21 as well. The only thing I really don't like about this is the scent. It is very heavily scented. It smells like grandma's but it is a really comfortable <laughs> BB cream, really full coverage and I do really enjoy it except for the scent. Lastly, I still have both of my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define foundations in here. I'm not using them for the month, I'm just reminding myself to film the full review video because I have been testing these out for a few weeks and I feel like I have enough information to do that video, so it should be filmed very soon. Next, let's jump up to here where I keep my mascaras. I'm carrying over these two foundations from last month, but I feel like they're on their last legs and they're about to get moved out. This is the Wander Beauty Unleashed Mascara and the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. To replace both of those when they are done, I'm pulling out a little mini that I have of the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara, one of my favorite higher end mascaras. And I've had this mini for a bit and I've been holding on to it because I wanted to wait to actually use it because I do like this. <laughs> And I don't like paying for full price higher end mascaras, but I do like minis. Moving on. Of course, would this be one of my videos if I didn't have the NYX glitter primer? No, it wouldn't. Always keep this. Always have it on deck. For brow products this month, I feel more like going for a tinted brow gel. So I'm bringing out my Ulta Beauty Brow Tint in Deep, one of my all-time favorites. And I'm using my Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Mascara that's in my wrong shade, unfortunately. I talked about this a lot in my makeup. I was upset that I liked the video. I'll go ahead and throw it up in the cards if you did miss that. But I feel like when it comes to these more glam looks, as long as I keep my brows groomed, I don't have to go in with a full pomade in order to get a nice looking brow. So I'm gonna stick to these two products for my brows. And a liner I really wanted to bring back out now that we're getting closer to the holidays. This is the Natasha Denona Blackest Black Star Liner. This is a really good black liner. I'm not a huge fan of the glitter on top of it, but I really wanna try this glitter in a few eye looks that I have planned. So I just pulled this out and I threw it in my brow drawer just so I kind of would remember, blah, blah, blah. So I kind of would remember to use it. Time for concealer. I've gotten back into more color correcting under my eyes. I feel like my bags are getting just a little bit worse, but this is the orange co uh, corrector from LA Girl, the Pro Conceal. I really like using this, but you definitely, when you put this under your eyes, you do have to set it with a powder just so that the orange doesn't look too intense. But it is a good dupe for that kind of salmon concealer from Benefit, I believe it is. Um, and this one's definitely a hell of a lot cheaper. I picked it up at CVS and you get a lot of product in here. I'm just sticking to these two concealers this month and I've actually really been liking how they look when I mix them together. This is the Kylie concealer in the shade Ivory and this is the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey. Last but not least, we have our primers. Since I do have a primer in my Finish 6 by Solstice, I am trying to focus on that more. So really, I'm just bringing in a little pore primer. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. I'm just keeping this on hand so I can use it with the Burberry Primer in my Project Pan because that one is a glowy primer, but it doesn't really do much for my pore. So I am going to be using this around my nose and a little bit on my forehead. And since I totally panned my last MAC paint pot and I needed a new eye primer, I found this in my collection, thought I would bring it back out. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. So it's a very light base, which is good when I'm going for more colorful looks. And I find that I really, really like this as a base. So I am going to be panning this one next. I do like to just try to keep like one eye primer open at a time, just so that there's less chance that it'll either dry out or go bad before I can use it because this is something that I do use every day and I do get full use out of them. If you guys are wondering about the drawers that I keep up here, right down here I'm keeping a bunch of 
finished mascaras because I am planning to do a full video all about mascara but I really want to test out each mascara for the full three months so currently I have about six mascaras in here that I did use for their full three months and I'm just keeping them all in one spot so that I can keep an eye on them before that video and then the drawer up here is actually all the little samples that I keep each week for my bite-sized reviews so that is it for my December makeup basket. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope if you liked it, you'll give it a thumbs up. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye!